Efgar Tigamad is belongs to a a first in class uh, drug that blocks the um, uh, neonatal FC receptor, um, but it's not a neonatal receptor. It's ubiquitous throughout life, and its primary purpose is to function as a salvage pathway for IgG immunoglobulin and as such pathogenic autoantibodies uh, that are of the IgG subclasses. By blocking the FC receptor, we're able to more rapidly clear circulating autoantibodies. Um, typically, IgG antibody, if you will, is taken into the cell and then recycled back to the circulation, and it thus extends its half-life some four times over other immunoglobulin subclasses like IgM, IgA. By blocking the FC receptor, we're able to uh, alter uh, that pathway and shunt these antibodies into a lysosome for destruction. Uh, it was tried in myasthenia gravis, underwent a successful phase two trial, and we're presenting the phase three trials at the AAN meeting. Patients with myasthenia gravis, 80% of them which had antibodies to the acetylcholine receptor, and 20% of the population had non-ACHR positive disease. They were given four weekly doses uh, and a matched placebo uh, to a one-to-one -one randomization, and then followed sequentially over several weeks. And we were able to demonstrate that by inhibiting the FC receptor, there is a very rapid decline in circulating IgG as well as um, the acetylcholine receptor antibody uh, that uh, reached its nadir around four to five weeks. And with this was associated a clear improvement in the myasthenic outcome scores that we used. The primary outcome measure was the MGADL. And unlike other clinical trials, we utilized what we call an MGADL responder, such that these individuals had at least a two point change in their score, but sustained it for four consecutive weeks. And that improvement began within one week of their last infusion. And the majority, nearly 70%, achieved this MGADL responder response uh, versus some 27% in the placebo arm uh, of the study. Likewise, the non-ACHR positive group, and they could include patients with musk antibodies, LRP4 antibodies, or were seronegative, had a very similar response. We were able to demonstrate in this first cycle that uh, a similar response was seen in the MG QMG score uh, as well, highly favoring the active drug. We we're also able to demonstrate that we could repeat uh, the cycles um, and they had a similar response as to the first uh, cycle response. About 89% of the patients who achieved this MGADL responder uh, analysis that re response uh, did so within the first two weeks of treatment. So unlike the overwhelming majority of the treatments we currently use, this response was seen quite quickly, which was very gratifying. The other thing of note was that the durability of the uh, response was uh, was quite favorable. And while we had an operational definition as to when we could retreat the patients, more than half had sustained responses uh, in excess of eight weeks. And about a third of them went beyond three months. And a number of them never required retreatment during this 26 week uh, observation period. And so in summary, a relatively safe drug. Uh, the AE profile was very nominal. In fact, it's very similar between placebo and active drug arms. Uh, it was a very durable response. It was a very rapid response, as well as a very clinical, meaningful response. 